Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Peep game. All right, man. Um, I predicted this was going to happen once Donald Trump became president. I already told you guys this was going to happen. And now you guys are starting to see this. You know, quite a few people warned y'all that this was going to happen. You know, Superboy warned you. Um, You know, O'Shea Ali warned you. Quite a few people warned you. LBZ warned you. You know, it, it it was quite a few people that warned you and told you when Donald Trump was elected president that these white motherfuckers was going to try black people and they was going to blatantly show how they felt about black people. The reason why white people getting bold because they feel like, uh, well, I, I got a coon I can hide in front of who going to protect me and who going to defend me no matter what. Well, you know what? Guess what? Um, uh, this 2018, if we have to go through a house nigga to get to you, then, eh, well, you know, so be it, you know, but real talk, um, look at all the incidents that didn't happen from colleges to just social media. Now the funny part about it is she has, uh, companies blatantly showing their racism towards black people. Okay. You didn't had so far you didn't had a lady get accused of buying uh b- b- you know what I'm saying trying to fraud uh a company by trying to say she was using a fake credit card to buy uh I think some Louis Vuitton. Then uh I told you about my incident in the Gucci store how I was racially profiled. Then you had the incident with Deontay Wilder's uh, uh, pregnant girlfriend. Okay, you had the Jerry Rice highly offensive Popeye's chicken commercial. You had the Dub Soap commercial. Okay. Um, now you didn't had this latest incident with uh, HMW. Which, by the way, I don't shop at that store. I'll walk right past it. Okay? Never shopped in that store in my life. Had no reason to, to shop there. Oh, and just before that, you had the American Ego uh, Company selling a slave-like bracelet that was eventually pulled. See, now it's let's see what we can get away with until somebody uh, figures this out. We're just going to put something out there. Now, how could for H&M to play the accidental racist and say, well, we didn't think that would offend anybody. And we're we apologize. We got to start calling these companies. Yeah, I'm going to call their corporate office and I'm going to tell them that we're going to shut them down. If they ever pull some shit like that, we're going to put them out of business. And then the funny thing is, you always get these white motherfuckers that have come trying to tell you, oh, they didn't think something like that was racist. Well, who gives a fuck what you think? Stay out of our fucking business, whites and non-blacks.